Hello. We'll be talking about the face wheel method, which is a, a computational technique for solving so-called free boundary problems. Now, what are free boundary problems and why should we care? Well, free boundary problems are a, a set of problems involving the movement of a boundary between two homogeneous faces. Now, homogeneous means that as long as you're within the phase region, any point you take in the phase will have the same material properties. Now, this boundary is free, meaning it can take any shape and move anywhere that is possible as long as it satisfies a certain number of conditions, uh, which are typically energy conservation and transport conditions. And the way we go about doing this is to write down a bunch of differential equations for the evolution of these faces with time. And these differential equations typically come with a set of boundary conditions that need to be applied at this boundary, which is shown in the green, in the dark green. Now to apply these boundary conditions on an actual computational simulation, the traditional way to do this is to track where the boundary points are. So let's say we have an order parameter, which has a value of one in the green phase and zero in the blue phase. Now the points that have that lie between the ones and the zeros, they're marked as boundary points. And at each step of the simulation, these boundary points are tracked. Now tracking these boundaries becomes really difficult when uh, these boundaries take complicated shapes. For example, like the ones found in snowflakes or like these lithium dendrites that we see growing on lithium ion batteries. Now, if you take a cross section, if you take a section along the boundary, we can see that at the boundary, the order parameter has a sharp drop. It sharply drops from zero, one to zero. Now the phase field method takes a different approach to the problem. And by taking this different approach, we can get around this limitation of uh, not being able to track complicated boundaries. What we do, the central idea is to have a diffuse interface. So the interface is spread across a certain length and multiple grid points. So this allows us, since the order parameter is now a continuous variable, to write another differential equation for the evolution of the order parameter itself without having to track the boundaries explicitly because the boundary conditions are now encapsulated in these differential equations. Now this differential equation that's written over here is just one of the many possible that can be written and this is called the allen kahn equation. So by using equations such as these, we avoid the need to track the interface, which saves a lot of computational time and memory and allows us to carry out large simulations with complicated multi-phase and multi-component phases. So that will be my talk for today. Thank you for listening.